<laughs> hey, Joanne. Black card revoked. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I can't swipe that black card nowhere. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> Uh, any of the Fridays. The first one. Mm -hmm. I saw the first one. I know this might sound stupid, but how did you know if you have a gift? Um, it's not stupid at all. Thank you for asking. I appreciate your question. As I'm spinning a Q&A when I'm supposed to be on the show, uh, I had to learn people didn't. Okay? You got to keep in mind, I was an orphan when I grew up. So, like, there was nobody to really guide me until I got adopted into a family that believes. Um, so, I had to realize that people didn't perceive the way that I did uh, and so how would you know you consistently feel displaced in social settings in the world um, things will probably make you laugh that shouldn't <laughs> uh, you might have very intense thoughts that could be considered cliche nine times out of ten you're a black sheep am I talking about anybody <laughs> okay um the big word is displacement, though. You feel out of sorts. Uh, and I did want to talk about this um, on the show. Uh, and I'm going to talk about it right now because I feel like it's, uh, it's, it's, it's pivotal. It is uncomfortable being a spiritual being having a human experience. This is why we moan and groan when we wake up and we become rebodied. Okay? Um, sometimes that can be curved with excitement, like Christmas morning, when you know uh, that this physical realm has gifts for us. Uh, but it is very uncomfortable for inherently spiritual beings to be in the flesh. Uh, we find comfort in our dreams. We find comfort in zoning out. We daydream a lot. Deja vu is all over the place i mean we look at things a little bit different and um we have to consciously try to feel normalized in the flesh okay um i use affirmations meditations to try to become more embodied uh but to answer your question it doesn't have to be uncomfortable you have to treat your body well and that's one thing that i have lacked i have um majorly invested into my mind my intelligence my spirit and guidance but in doing that i've become slothful you know i eat a lot i fucking chill and vegas definitely got my black ass together and i hope that i can retain that energy because when your body good your mind good your soul good it all working together you'll be unstoppable so if i got the first two unlock already when this body get right bitch and i'm not getting a bbl we're gonna be good but to go answer your question, displacement, you feel at odds, not just with certain folk, just in general. You know what I'm saying? And that could find what's now known as anxiety. I ain't never seen so many people claim that they have anxiety a day in my motherfucking goddamn day life, bitch. But that's because people are waking up. And they're feeling uncomfortable with where they are. Okay? Understand? It makes sense, right? Yeah. So... How do you know if you have a spiritual gift? The first sign is displacement. I'll say the second sign is that uh, what you're told to believe in doesn't resonate with you. I don't care if you grew up Muslim, Christian, pagan, whatever. What you've been told is truthful doesn't doesn't fully resonate with you. That doesn't mean because what religion is to us is a key that opens a particular door to spirit. In my belief system, all religions lead to the same God. Okay, so I don't give a fuck what you are. You know what I'm saying? I can read you whether you worship the devil or you worship Archangel Michael. It don't really matter to me. Um, but it, as a as a as a as a person who is gifted, all the doors make sense. Therefore, I consider that oracleism. I can walk through a Buddhist door the same way I can walk through a Christian door. Um, but some of these doors have requirements, such as you can't be a homosexual. So some of these doors say uh, have consequences behind those actions. Um, so my door, I open, goes straight to the source. That's the way I look at it, you know, and I trust in that. And I'm able to translate the messages I get from that source into the English language. And I'm able to portray those messages to you. Um, so second sign of you uh, recognizing if you have a gift. First one, displacement. Second one, uh, the resignation of religion isn't congruent with what you are feeling. Okay? The third one is you are sensitive. Mm. And it's typically sensitive to everything or particular things. I don't cry at movies, but I cry in social situations. 
okay? Like New York said, it's an inner cry bitch, okay? Like, I, I, I'm very emotional. I take things to heart a lot. I've gotten really good at being conscious of that. So what Boots does is Boots is boisterous over that sensitivity. Um, but Brandon cries. He be crying. I Very sensitive. But that is kind of tapered with some of the practices that I have, too. Um, you know, a lot of that energy is redirected back into you guys. So if I'm extremely mad or sad or whatever, I try to convert it to being creative. Um, and I'll say just as an extra thing, we got the three steps of, of figuring out if you're spiritually gifted. But the fourth thing would be you have a phenomenal talent in some way. Okay, uh, you're an artist, you're a writer. Some some black sheep's talent goes untapped and you'll never discover what it is in this life because of the way that the world has nurtured you as a spiritual creature being in physical form. Uh, but there is, uh, or you have a genius level IQ. You understand things differently. Um, all of my autistic clients, I feel like are geniuses and I feel like autistic people are inherently connected to the other side in a more tangible way than we are or most people are, I'll say. Uh, you have a extraordinary gift. Um, and I say extraordinary because, you know, we consider talent like playing the piano or singing or dancing or all that stuff. I have a talent for entertainment. It don't matter what it is. You put a damn violin in my hand, I figure out how to make that shit shake. Okay, I'm an entertainer by the trade of me. Um, the psychic part is a gift, though. It's an extraordinary, it's an extraordinary talent. Um, or you have an aspect or quality to your personality that makes you stand out from the bunch. Uh, this one girl, she was a witch in college and she used to dress like she was in the Victorian era. Uh, and everybody used to make fun of her and I ate lunch with her every single day because I hate that shit, right? And um, if you notice on a red carpet, I'm always in some Victorian geesh because she was one of the, the most dissociative people I've ever met. Um, she was so oblivious to the world around her, which is a gift that she didn't give a fuck what she, she didn't give a fuck people were throwing stuff at her. Like, and I channel that energy on red carpets because I want to elude that. So you'll notice that I wear Victorian clothes on red carpets and stuff like that, you know? Um, but I'm a bully of bullies. If you are a bully, I'm gonna beat your ass. That's just how I look at things. Like, leave people alone, you know? Um, going back to the, the, the fourth extra thing, there's something extraordinary about you. Okay, and it might you might not recognize what it is. That's when you come to me. Okay, I'll tell you what it is. Okay, and it's no shade. <laughs> um, but let's recap real quick. How do you know you're spiritually gifted? One, displacement. You feel off in the world, just in general. This can be a growing feeling. You could be born with this feeling, but you feel off. Two, um, the resignation of religion becomes not receivable to you as you get older. Okay, three. Black sheep, probably. Okay, you you probably an outcast. You you uh, um you know uh, that's their four extraordinary talent. I'm adding shit to the list. Uh, yeah, extraordinary talent, or IQ, or beauty, or there's something about you that just stands out. That shit out of order, but I hope that you 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 got what I was trying to give. And look, if you want me to give you something personally, I mean, aside from the lust music video we just got done talking about, um, if you want me to give you something personally, book a session. I'm available. Um, I'm working my ass off this morning. I have no doubt, and I'm going to celebrate with my girls on the 26th to celebrate us working it the fuck out.